Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the changes and improvements in the release preview channel of Windows 11, version 22H2 and 23H2, build 22621.4391, and 22631.4391, KB5044380. So, without further ado, let's begin. Microsoft is beginning to roll out a new gamepad keyboard layout for the on-screen keyboard in Windows 11, that supports the ability to use your Xbox controller to navigate and type. This includes button accelerators, additionally, the keyboard keys have been vertically aligned for better controller navigation patterns. On the Start menu, the All Apps button is now just All. Microsoft has added a new shortcut. Narrator key plus Control plus X, to copy what the narrator last spoke to the clipboard. It follows the pattern of using narrator key plus X, which repeats the last spoken phrase out loud, and is a good way to memorize similar shortcuts. You can use these shortcuts to review and copy what the narrator spoke. It is useful in cases where you want to quickly copy some content, descriptions, or codes for use. The narrator will now auto-read contents of a mail in the new Outlook app similar to the behavior in Outlook Classic. You can now stop the suggestions to turn off notifications from certain apps, select the three dots in the notification, and turn it off. You can also go to the Settings app, then System, select Notifications, and turn it off from notification suggestions in the Senders list. An entry will only appear in the list after you receive a notification. You can configure the Copilot key on the keyboard. On new devices, the key opens the Copilot app. If you sign into your account using a Microsoft Entra ID, the key opens the M365 app. You can make the key open a different app or open search. To do this, go to the Settings app, then Personalization. Select Text Input. To make the key open a different app, the app must be an assigned MSIX package. This ensures that the app meets security and privacy standards to keep you safe. If your PC's keyboard does not have a Copilot key, changing this setting will do nothing. There are some fixes in this update like a device uses too much battery power while in modern standby. The issue stops you from joining Teams meetings when you select an Outlook meeting reminder. This update adds new phone numbers for several regions. When you use a USB cable to connect to a multifunction printer, it prints specific network command text. VM switch triggers a stop error. This occurs when you use load balancing and failover, teaming with two virtual switches on a virtual machine. In this case, one virtual switch uses single root input output virtualization. The collector sets do not close properly when an exception occurs, during startup or while the set is active. Because of this, the command to stop a collector set stops responding. This update brings profiles up to date for certain mobile operators. Pin reset does not work when you select the I forgot my pin link on the credential screen. This update adds to the list of drivers that are at risk for bring your own vulnerable driver attacks. The WebView 2 apps do not detect input from Xbox 360 and Bluetooth controllers. In Bluetooth, fixed an app that stops responding because of a memory leak in a device. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.